Hello, welcome back. So in this video, I'd cut the beginning out. I didn't realise I'd cut out quite too much. I have um, put a base coat on this before I put any colour on. But I thought I'd use my jelly colour that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> so this is a really nice jelly pink from Premier Gel. Um, I like it. It's just one coat. That's all it's taken. I just thought I'd sit here and I'd just make some random nail designs. I just start doing random things off because I follow a lot of people that do nail designs on long tips because you can do a really beautiful design and you've got a lot of place to cover. <coughs> on short nails, you don't really have that much, so you've got to try and fit something in without it being too bulky and too busy. Yeah, so I just thought, yeah, what am I going to do? So I thought, okay, so I put this light under the light, baked it for 30 seconds. And I'm rummaging around and I found my um, microfiber glitter. Right, it's like hair, like angel hair, I suppose. I don't know, is that what you call it? Angel hair. Anyway, so I got like a few colors that I bought from Nao Nails. So what I'm doing is I'm just sticking on um, my base coat so that the angel hair has something to stick to. Now I've had to stick my, my tip on my holder because you can't, you need two hands for this. It's a two hand job, you see. And um, I needed to balance a nail or something. Sorry. Ooh, gosh. So, just really tired work. I'm just like doing, oh, this is my last week of late nights and then next two weeks I'll be doing early. So I can't wait. So, all I do is I just take a few strands of the hair out and I just lay it in that wet base gel. Because you want something thin, but you want something sticky. Yeah, and base gel is sticky. So, um... I've learnt from my mistakes in the past, and you put it in wet base, don't, not baked base coat, unless you're doing something else, I suppose, I don't know. So I just decided to get just a few strands out of each, and I laid it in the nail, and it really didn't come out how I thought it would look. <laughs> it wasn't a really good idea to put it in here, but it didn't look too bad in the end, I just sort of played about a bit. Um, what I'm doing is, I'm trying to just lay it, in the nail and bring it down the sides so that when you bake it you just trim off the edge you'll see later on it looks like my hair um i've already done one voiceover well i thought i'd done one voiceover i've got halfway through the video and i'm looking and i'm like there's no record box mish you've been sitting here talking to yourself because i got to this point because i thought yeah my hair looks like this take it out of the light and that's what my hair looks like every single day and I was saying in my other recording that if I don't get my hairdressers open soon, I'm going to get my old man to get the clippers out and I'm going to do some proper, like, I don't even know what to my hair. I'm just going to do something different. Anyway, so I'm just trimming off the excess around the edges. It's got really messy. Um, it's sticking to my fingers and everything. But you see all them little bits that I've cut off? I never throw them away. I always keep them. They're really good to keep. Because you could always just use those and it just pick up a little clump and put them in a design of something. Meh. You know, I'd, even though I've got a whole massive, like, well, it's quite a lot in a bag. But I like, to, I don't like waste. If I can reuse it, I will. So what I've decided to do is now I'm just going to give it a top coat because I needed to start building up some, like, strength and layers and whatever else. Because I've got to file it into shape, right? So I'll give it a real thick top coat. Just one coat of top coat, make sure that it's cut completely covered. Then when I go to file it, I'm not filing away too much stuff. Because I weren't sure whether to give it one thin or too thick. And I thought, nope, I'll just give it one thick. Not too bothered because I'd still top coat it again later on after, so it's fine. So that goes in my light and look at her, state of that. Now I fast forward this bit because of my filing shit. Um, so I just thought, right, let me just file this really quick. <laughs> I don't file this quick. I just sped this puppy up because I just thought, yeah, I don't really want people to see the way I file. Maybe badly, I'm not sure. It works for me, but still. So I just go down the sides, along the tip, over the body, and then um, on to the cuticle area. Now when I'm filing an actual finger, like my finger, I'll go round down the sides first, around the cuticle and then down the front and tidy up the tip and that's how I do my fingernail on me but on a tip 
I just file it willy nilly because meh, why not? So that's it filed and I've cleaned it. I'm like, okay. And then I forgot I'd buff I have forgot to buff it. I was just gonna put a top coat on and I'm like, no Mish, you need to buff that lovely. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's just like no buffy buffy. So look, I'll get my top coat ready and then I'm like Mish, buff it. <sighs> yep, yeah, one minute. Buff, buff, buff. I forget to buff. I like a bit but I like a bit of buffing. Yeah, buffing is nice. It makes it look really smooth as well. Um I did give I didn't give it a matte top coat in the end. I gave it a a, a shiny no wipe top coat. Because all my all my top coats are no wipe. Um because I just can't be dealing wiping off top coat. I just don't like doing that. It makes it dull I think. So here I am, see, can you, you can just about make out the, the glitter in it, but it's not the look I was going for. To be honest with you, I'll do a design with these on a white tip and then you'll see what I mean about how you just not got the effect that I want. Um, I really like this, thing, this glitter stuff, but I've just got to do it on a, I just, I don't know how it would look. I really don't know. And I know now never to use this stuff with one of these jelly colours, with a jelly paint, because I don't know whether it's because it's jelly or because it's pink. But if I just don't use it with either of those, I'll never go wrong again, will I? So just give it one coat of clear silk, like clear matte, oh, clear coat, no white top coat. Go over the tip, which I'm the tip covered. And then, I thought, what else am I going to do? I can't leave it like that, it's a bit boring. So I thought, I'll get me that in my bleach brush because I love that brush. And I just thought, well, I'll do some swirls. Where should I start? Should I start there? No, let me start at the top corner. Look, there's a little piece on the left hand side, right at the very top of the angel hair sticking out. I missed it. Okay, I've missed it cutting and filing. I don't know. I thought, I'll just do like some round things. But I thought, nope, that looks shit. Let's start again, shall we? What are we going to do? We're just going to just, you know, paint the line. Nope. Oh, idiot drivers. I tried it again and yeah, that didn't work out. I was going to do curves. And it's like, it's just not working out right. I'm really sorry if I'm yawning. <gasps> but I'm just so tired. Um, Yeah. I thought, right, I curve it, curve it, tidy it up. And I'm like, no, be sure that looks pants. Just take it off and do something else for crying out loud. Just take it off. That's all you've got to do. I need to get some double-sided sticky tape. So blue tape just won't hold it still. So now I decided I'd just draw like chevrons. Yeah. Or little or L's or V's. I don't know. But they both come off the nail, so it doesn't matter. So that's what I did. So then what I did was I just Gently bake that for like a couple of seconds with my handheld torch just to make sure that it's set. And then I just, that was my middle one, this is my outside line. So then I just draw three lines and all it is is like, it can either be a V or an L or a line down and a line across, like horizontal and vertical, whatever floats your boat, but I just thought I'd do it like that. And then what I do is I just give it a light zap in with my um, little handheld torch. And then i done it on the tip as well, because I weren't sure. Do you know what? I just thought I could have sugared that. Yeah, I didn't. And it's how I might. So um, I've done the same with the tip of the finger. I think I might have made it a bit long. Mate, one day you're going to break your sump on the bottom of your engine. I've got speed humps outside, but for some reason people seem to feel that they could drive over them at like 50 miles an hour. One day he's going to mash up the bottom of his car. Anyway, so here I am just doing it again and I'm just giving them a little zap. And I realised when I first done it, I was like, I'm too near my gel. Go over there. <laughs> so I keep on going out of shot just to bake it a bit with my torch, just so that it just holds it into place. And then once I'm happy with it, I put it back under my LED light for the full minute, um, just so that it's had a full bake. 
and then what I did was I didn't show you it but then I, once I baked it I just went back over and done it again just to make that white a bit more prominent because you couldn't really see it very well after I'd done white one coat it was a bit thin looking so I thought we could make it a bit more prominent so you can see <clears throat> sorry so you can see the white but yeah so then what I decided so after I've done that I've baked that for at least 60 seconds so there it is baked and then I thought I'm going to use my matte top coat I was going to go over the whole nail and I'm like no do something really random that no one will ever notice so I thought I'll go over the colours that I just painted so I just made the, the colours that I just painted that corner matte that corner and the other corner I just made a matte I tidied up the tip because I noticed as I wiped it, it'd gone a bit on the pink. Right, and I, I tried to keep it on in the white. You can use your paintbrush or you could use your detailer brush, whatever's easier for you. See, I just use my torch just to zap it a bit, just to hold it into place so that before I put it under the light. And I, yeah, I thought, oh, that's not too bad. So I do the other end. I mean, you can't really see the effect, so I'm going to have to do it on a colour where you can actually see the effect. So maybe I'll do it on a black, because you'll definitely see the difference between a glossy black and a matte black. And then you'll see the effect I was going for. Um, but you can't see it really well on the jelly nail, but I hadn't even realized I had this jelly polish. I didn't realize I had this. So I'm saying I've got so much stuff I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, I, baked, I, like, I just zapped that and then put it under my light for a minute. And then I was quite happy with how it turned out. It went too bad. And there you go. See, you can see, if I show you, you can see where it's matte and then it's shiny. Quite nice, isn't it? Well, if you like this video, please give me a like, subscription, the bell. Um, I'm trying to be a bit more consistent, as I always say. But I shall see you later. You all stay safe. You all look after each other. No idiots sunbathing. I'll see you all later. Ta-da. Bye.